for all the song and dance being made about the income tax survey on BBC offices in Mumbai and Delhi, the entire episode is at best a sideshow. For all the controversy and hard one over the BBC documentary on our Prime Minister and the 2002 Gujarat riots, that entire fracas is just another pinprick by the BBC in a series of countless past pinpricks by that organization in the Indian body politic. The issue of substance, the real serious point of disagreement, the insidious agenda that the BBC brandishes against India is how they represent the map of India. They show Jammu and Kashmir as not only disputed territory but truncated territory. If you look at the map of Kashmir as shown by the BBC, you get the sense as if the head or the very top of India has been dismembered. This provocation is the real red flag that the BBC always waves against India. This provocation is not Modi specific particularly. It is against the country. But wonders of wonder, past successive governments and even the present one has not done anything about it. Let me reiterate, the BBC constantly challenges the territorial sovereignty of India. That is the real issue. Rest is all talk. I will discuss the implications of all this, but first, a warm welcome to all viewers of the CAA show. CAA, as all of you know, is Conversations and Analysis, and my name is Jaggi Basin. To watch this video podcast, press the big red subscriber button on your screen and subscription is of course completely free. Let me first explain why we should really be concerned about the mutilation of a map by the BBC. The BBC is in effect laughing in our face by operating from within our country, ridiculing our laws and challenging our territorial integrity. In which country in the world can a corporate or a multinational, which is also the BBC besides being a media house, get away by scoffing the territorial character of the host country? Try doing this kind of a thing in the United States. They will crack down swiftly and ruthlessly on you in the blink of an eye, even before you can say Uncle Sam. And within England itself, there is a huge problem in Scotland. And according to latest surveys, almost 60% of the people are determined to form a separate republic. The Northern Ireland problem continues to simmer, especially in trade issues vis-a-vis -vis Brexit and continental Europe. We all know this. So, why does then the BBC not show Scotland and Northern Ireland as disputed areas? No map of the United Kingdom, according to the BBC, shows dismemberment or mutilation or revision of these troubled spots. Why do they reserve the evil eye only for our country? And for all the unthinking so-called defenders of free press in our country, screaming against the income tax survey by our tax authorities against the BBC, they should know a simple fact. The BBC is not just another small-time media service like The Wire, News, Laundry, etc., which in their inherent makeup is hostile to the present government. The outreach of the BBC World Service in English might be limited, but not so their Hindi and Urdu service. These two services and BBC Radio reach every nook and corner of the country. Now, if they constantly use phrases like Indian occupied Kashmir in their visual and verbal broadcast, what do you think would be the effect of that blasphemous propaganda on unsuspecting Indian masses? And then the latest trend emerging, which I'm sure has sent alarm bells ringing to the government in Delhi. The BBC is positioning itself as a champion of certain kind of left liberal activism and causes which simply translated in the vernacular means 
that synergies are emerging between them and the Indian opposition. They provide the Indian opposition with, shall we say, the masala or the fodder for issues which fragment, divide and agitate Indian masses and society. The opposition picks them up, plunging the country in turmoil and the BBC watches in the shadows a job well done. This precisely was the role of the BBC documentary on the 2002 Gujarat riots. This interlocking of BBC Western interests in India and those of the opposition is the new game in town. And it all springs from the original problem and provocation and that is the BBC has dismembered the Indian map. Our reason for our existence, our unity in diversity, our very identity springs from the wholesomeness of the Indian map, which shows the whole of Jammu and Kashmir as an inalienable, inalienable part of India. And this precisely is the truth the BBC challenges all the time. Why do they do they, what they do is the next question. Does the British government have an agenda in this? Maybe, maybe not. Are the Chinese funding these enterprises? Maybe, maybe not. Is the BBC plain mischievous, starting little fires all over the world, especially in those parts where their ideology is at odds with the host country? Almost certainly yes is the answer. And if you don't believe me, then take a look at the Al Jazeera channel, which is now staffed by many ex-BBC employees and anchors. The same level of viciousness now defines that channel, especially towards India. If the well is poisoned and those who drink from it, they carry that poison in their system wherever they go. It is clear a racist and a splitter's agenda guides the BBC. When our opposition takes up cudgels on behalf of the BBC, do they realize what kind of an entity they are defending? Only the opposition guided by their conscience can best answer that question. But our government should more than on documentaries and income tax violations crack down on the distorted map issue. At stake is the very territorial integrity of India itself. Force them to accept the territorial integrity of India. Or else, show them the door. And so, on this note, I come to the end of this episode of the CAA Show. And I hope you really enjoyed this episode. You like our show, do subscribe to us. And on this note, it's goodbye and cheers from my end.